friends and for those who are grieving right now, and our thoughts and prayers ought to be with them, regardless of whether we agree with Dr. Hey, uh, Falwell. Chris, Christopher Hitchens. Oh, come let, 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 on. Hey, the play the world's smallest violin. Listen, he established a business, a racket in my opinion. Um, he was a religious businessman in the same way as Mr. Ralph Reed is a religious entrepreneur. He's left the business to his children. Uh, it's a hereditary job. Let that console them. You can't have me on and say that I have to say I'm terribly sorry he's dead. Hey, hey, Christopher. One reason you can't ask me to do that is because I am not. I think we have, we have been rid of an extremely dangerous demagogue who lived by hatred of others and prejudice and who, and who committed treason by saying that the United States deserved the attack upon it and its civil society hey, hey, in September he, 2001 by other, by other religious nutcases like himself. He profoundly and repeatedly apologized, and I, I'm sure you're perfect not in enough. your, no, I'm, I'm sure you're perfect enough, in your life enough. and that you've never made any mistakes. I've never, I've never committed treason like that. I don't believe in the sincerity of his well, apology. Well, let's look at, let's look at you, the thoughtlessness and the mean-spiritedness of your very remarks that you've made about Reverend Falwell. By all means. You think it's a pity that there isn't a hell for him to go to, you yes, said. Yes, I do. On his death, you write the discovery of the carcass of Reverend Falwell and the floor of his obscure office is you know almost zero significance except for perhaps two ga categories of, of people etc uh, well, you well also put, say you also say the evil he did will live after him yes I knew Reverend Falwell Christopher I know the good work that this man has done tell me about I, it I, well he, he for, for Takes unwin, a lot to make me would cry. you like would you I know you think you're the smartest guy in the room but you sound like a jackass when you attack his family like this but I know the I, I know what he did for unwed mothers I know what he did for alcoholics I know what he did for drug addicts I did not attack excuse me sir yeah. I did not attack his family and no fair-minded view of yours will oh, see I'm, that. I'm not going to be conscripted into saying that it's my job when you invite me on to discuss this man first to say how sorry I am for him and his family. That isn't what I feel. You, no doubt, as a Christian, or whatever you are, require hypocrisy of people. I'm sorry you're asking I'm not asking for I'm, No, but I am asking for human decency, and if you don't think it has an impact on his family, to use even the phrases tonight, that he's vulgar, fraud, and a crook, and then to say that am the I discovery to conceal, of his, am I his carcass, to conceal my, you I think you are incredibly mean, incredibly me selfish, and incredibly me, thoughtless. You invited me, sir, to give I invited my opinion you, sir. of the departed. I give it to you, and you say, well, that might that not upset his family. I said it while he well, was alive. Well, you give his opinion might that about not have upset his family too. Uh, you know, you uh, give the opinion about Tom him, Fury and I'm giving the part. opinion about you and the thoughtlessness of your remarks here. And the, the, I'm uh, really we, uh, calling for any human decency that you may have in your pseudo intellectually we superior will, uh, mind of yours. More of the debate on Sorry. this coming up in a moment. But he devoted his life to his religion. Do you have nothing good to say about him at all? No, I I repeat. Um, Jerry Falwell lived on uh, hatred and superstition and bigotry. He, he preached dislike of people whose lives he knew nothing about. He raised money from credulous so fools. You don't know anything about his life. Now, excuse me, sir. You can either ask me on and, have, uh, and ask my opinion, or you may not. But I don't have to be here if you're going to take that attitude. Well, you could leave. You spent the first half by saying I had no right to the opinion you'd asked me on to express. Now, you're tiring me out. I repeat that. No, what I said is your opinion was thoughtless. What you wrote was crude and mean and hateful. That's yes, and what I said. You took up all the time for my answer with your long, rather unlettered question. Oh, okay. Jerry Falwell oh. made, a, made a career out of sponsoring dislike and superstition, said that people he didn't like were going to hell, said the United States deserved to be attacked by Islamic fascists, said he believed that people would be raptured into heaven, leaving all the rest of us to wallow behind I I think his death is a is a deliverance and if you say that someone who occasionally John. makes a charitable donation is a good person then you have to say that Hamas and Hezbollah how did, how, who do all this charitable giving how and dare he practice religion are the same. in a country that celebrates so, it Ralph Reed fired him I, I would really hope that people like Christopher would show the decency and respect to let those people mourn tell it to Jack and remember his memory tell without being torn down Abimov. and attacked. attack Tell it your tell business you, partner. Good try, Christoper. Paul tell it your business partner. 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 Tell it your business